So in this video, I'm gonna teach you one skill that's gonna make you a shit ton of money as a web developer. I'm actually super excited to talk about this because I believe that if you learn this, you'll be making so much money and you'll have such an easy time navigating this entire web development space that it's not gonna be funny for those who are gonna look at you and ask you if you are talented or not, or if you had an uncle that brought you into the company or whatever. This skill is absolutely unbelievable and nobody else is talking about it but it's also quite simple to learn okay so now let's let's actually dive into this now if you've been in the web development space for some time you know that everyone is talking about problem solving like coding is about solving problems coding is all about uh, solving uh, issues for customers and making money in this way right making the world a better place well that is true right but what i'm thinking about is that if you really want to be profitable and if you want to make money like serious money okay and i'm talking about money that you know could potentially put you out of a job forever uh could create that financial freedom for yourself you need to stop being a problem solver okay because everyone is obsessed about problem solving but most junior developers have no problems to solve if you really want to make the big bucks you need to become a problem finder because nobody really talks about that have you ever been told in school to find problems to solve them no have you ever been encouraged in a course to go and find problems solve them after no all you've been told is hey this is a problem go ahead and solve it no wonder why your creativity is not developed because the only creativity that you have is if someone is feeding you a problem right so instead of you learning how to be like a like a lion like a freaking wolf to go out there and find the problem solve it for yourself you'll end up always being dependent on someone but if you learn how to find problems you'll become independent okay because what i want you to understand is that the world is full of problems and no matter how many problems we solve each problem will create a new set of problems that is developed on top of the previous problems. It's been like this for thousands of years. Let's talk about problem finding as a skill. People have a lot of beliefs, right? That's the first thing, right? They believe that uh, they cannot learn to code because they are too old. They believe they cannot learn to code because they're a woman. People believe they cannot become financially free because they come from a specific background. It's not true. Like literally everything right now, it's in your powers. You have access to unlimited amount of information. Pretty much all the ways to make money are online and you just need to figure out how to do that. If you find it difficult to find problems to, to solve, right, to put on your resume or on your portfolio or whatever, it's because you never trained this muscle. If you never tried finding problems, of course you're not gonna be good at finding problems or the problems that you're finding are very superficial and unnecessary, but it's, that's okay as well, right? Because you have to start from somewhere. What I want you to do is to start thinking about every single thing that you want to learn or do in your life as a skill that can be trained literally everything and you also need to come in with the assumption that you'll suck at it in the beginning for the first i don't know month or two months or three months you'll suck at it completely and then you just have to have the belief that if you keep trying to get good at that thing you will actually get good at it that's the first realization that i want you to have is that problem finding is skill that you can actually develop now how do you develop it how do you practice problem finding because this is quite important. We need to first find an environment that you are interested in. If you are fat, that's nothing. I mean, there are a lot of things that are wrong with that, but if you are fat, you should be interested in not being fat, right? So then all you have to do is to start diving in and experience everything that is related to being fat or trying to not be fat. That means, reddit that means instagram that means ads that means products that you might buy digital maybe apps and whatnot dive deep into every single thing because you might find a new diet right and then that new diet doesn't have a specific way of tracking in any of the apps that we are currently using like my fitness pal and then maybe you are interested in uh calisthenics right uh you want to work out with gymnastic rings well there is no app that is helping people track their gymnastic rings workout. So then it becomes very difficult to track using a spreadsheet and whatnot, right? Because it's very difficult to track the length of the rope and whatnot. Anyway, that's besides the point. The idea is that first, in order for you to find problems, you need to dive deep into an industry, into a niche. And once you dive deep into that niche, I want you to do the following exercise. Every single day, 
I want you to write on a piece of paper, actually not a piece of paper, who has papers anymore, right? Open a Google Doc and I want you to write a list of 10 problems that you found that day as you are researching Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, as you are downloading apps, comment on different things. And then with time, you'll start to develop this ability to literally find problems. Like it's gonna be unbelievable. You'll be walking down the street and then you'll have an idea and another idea and another idea. You'll be in the shower, idea, idea, idea. And then you just capture these ideas. You don't need to execute in, on any of these ideas. But at some point, something is gonna struck, you know, because your brain has this amazing ability to find solutions to problems because of something called the reticular activation system. So let me explain to you how that works. Let's say you want to buy a car. Like when I was a broke barista and I wanted to become a developer, my dream car was a BMW M4. And then remember, I was seeing that car everywhere and I was wondering, like, did people start buying this car every single day? Of course, no, it was my reticular activation system doing his job, RAS, right? So then when you start being focused on um, finding problems, your brain is gonna do that for you automatically, which is the cool part about it. And at some point you'll find one problem that you really, really like. That problem is gonna be your key to success. How? Well, you can either develop it, put it on your resume, as I always talk about, right? Build a six month long project, this is what I'm talking about. Or you can literally uh, develop it, have some people try it out on your Reddit forums or like make posts and stuff like that, talk about your app, ask people feedback as you're building it. That's how real life works, guys. Like that, that's how you have to do it. Like if you really want to be smart about it and if you want to not be a dumbass nerd that argues about which programming language is the best, you know, like bullshit like that, that nobody really cares. Focus on finding problems, then focus on solving those problems, and then focus on selling yourself as the person who made that, that you can do that for someone else. People can buy your shit, and then you'll end up making money. You wanna make money, and not even making money, but do you wanna make something useful for the world, or do you wanna be this guy that knows Rust, you know, or whatever these other nerd influencers are talking about. And again, I don't have anything against them. Those guys are passionate about programming languages, but you are not them. Those guys have 15 years of coding experience. They are coding for fun after their coding job, okay? All they talk about is coding. They've been coding stuff since they were five years old. You are not like them. I'm not like them. I used to, you know, smoke weed and do all this crazy shit, play FIFA, make music. That was my background before coding. Before coding, there was no coding. Before 2016, there was no coding. For them, before they started coding, they were doing some other shit. You have to become a problem finder, then a problem solver, then you'll be making money. First you learn, then you earn, as simple as that. So that is the number one skill that you have to learn in 2024 if you wanna get hired fast as a developer. I am absolutely blown away by the fact that other people are not talking about it and I'm blown away by the fact that other people are not even aware that this is a thing, right? So yeah, anyway, if you want me to help you learn code so you can actually do this really fast, uh, apply for a free consultation call. The link is in the description. I'm gonna teach you every single thing you need to know about coding. I'm gonna make it so easy for you. It's gonna be absolutely like a walk in the park. All you have to do is to do the work, do your part, two hours a day, five to six days a week and you'll be good to go. I have created every single step of this process and I made it as smooth as possible. Just this month we had like three guys hired. There will be more testimonials coming on the channel. I did the hard work. You'll not be able to get to the level I'm gonna get you by yourself even in the next eight years by yourself. Like I can guarantee you that. My guarantee is so strong that if you do not get job ready in nine months or less, I'm gonna give you all your money back and $5,000 for wasting your time. So I believe in it so much that I'm putting everything on the line. So uh, click on the first link in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.